So, uh, everyone probably runs into this problem. Um, Ethan is asking. Everyone? Uh, I recently went to a concert in my kilt uh, with and basic accessories. I didn't realize they had metal detectors at the door. I had to remove my sporn, belt, kilt pin, yep. and explain <laughs> the buckles on the kilt. Yes. Uh, it's uh, that they don't come off. Yep. They yep. let me through, but is there a way he could avoid this in the future? Nope. Not, um, the, not the buckles. Uh, yes. Casual kilt. Casual kilt. Sporn. Sporn strap. There you go. Because it's it's it's. I and when, when 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 big you know big big bonky man when the bouncer it's quoting my specials there big, for you. Big big bonky man. Big the, the mm-hmm. specials. Come on. Yes okay, yes okay. yes. I know. Go. Keep going. reference. I'm sorry. Um, when the bouncer comes up and says, you know, he gives you a little wand up and down the back, um, and he's like, what the hell are you wearing in front there? It's, it's my purse. It's my handbag. It's where I keep my stuff. And as long as you're, you know, there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there, and you don't have any metal in there, if you wear a sporin strap, which is the leather bit versus a sporin chain, that may allow you to slip through without, you know, catching yeah. too much guff. Um, a regular kilt or, or casual kilt excuse me without the straps and buckles it just has velcro closure something like that again you know i'm thinking like airport hacks right. transferred over to uh exactly uh, concerts because airport is where i ran into it i've, yeah. I've always you know i just take the sporn off and put it into the basket uh to go through the the extra machine and then i when I get up to the the walkthrough i say okay be aware this garment has buckles here and here they're gonna set off the machine um and that's usually all it takes. I mean, as long as you're rehearsed in, in the spiel, you can usually get through okay. Um, I've never had it happen at a concert, but maybe because concerts I go to, people are wearing so much metal on their person already that that the, the bouncers are used to it. Yeah, that's obviously part of the outfit. That's part of the costume, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I've never been... I've had my bag checked all the time. I'd you know, say this. But, you know, and they'll check your sporn like they check a woman's bag. But Yeah. Uh, I'd say that a little bit of humor, if you're wearing a kilt with buckles, can go a long way. So right. when the bouncer just you know, wands you and you say, you know, look, there's buckles, I can unattach them, but you're not going to like the results, dude. You right. know, something to right. that effect. Um, generally, they're just kind of like, okay, fine, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's not generally too much of a problem. It really depends on the bouncer. Yeah. They're... And if he's got a problem with it, ask him to, you know, don't be a Karen, but ask him, you know, Hey, look, this doesn't come at, doesn't come unattached. I literally, this is my clothing. If you have an issue, can you bring the manager over and have him want me and talk me through it? So right, I think it's not too hard if they're mostly if they're rational. It's not too hard to help them realize that you're not sketchy. You're just a guy who's wearing this particular outfit. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're they're looking for shivs. They're looking for weird stuff. Yep. So they're gonna they, they'll figure it out. Yeah, just um, be be cognizant of what I have what you have on you. If you have a, a a knife or a little like you know little knife on your keychain, make sure you leave that in the car. Right. Don't take extra keys. Don't take anything. Don't extra. wear a skin do. Yes, don't wear a skin do. <laughs> <clears throat> just wear as little metal as possible, and you will probably right. slip through ninety nine times out of a hundred. Yep. If you get some guy with a, a wild hair, um, he's going to stop you. But if you explain you can't take the things off that you're wearing, he'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Rocky mentioned the, the casual kilt. That is a product that we make. <clears throat> um, I'm sure there are other similar things, but it's basically the closure system on it is Velcro. So there is no metal. Yeah. So uh, it's a very good concert kilt. I will say that because you don't have to worry about it. It's a beat up kilt. Mm-hmm. So it's very good for rowdier activities. Indeed. Rowdy like the pit. Mm-hmm. The old windmill. I'm not going to windmill with scotch here, but and yes. you're not allowed. You're not allowed to go crowd surfing in a kilt. No, remember? No, no. I've done that. It's no. You you can blind people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. He actually did once. Blinded Ken Casey from Dropkick. <laughs> you're welcome. There are certain things that are kind of difficult to get through security at a concert venue. Just use common sense. Certain things metal, you may not want to take in with you. If you want to see other videos we've done on culture kind of comment, check out these videos down here and those ones down there. Have a good day, guys.